Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over a few little things that can occur while you're trying to fill in or shade in a, a character or drawing that you've created. So I've got a little drawing started here. I'm going to add a little bit more to it. So I've got um, a head, which is just an oval tool, and I've got some eyes, which are simply two oval tools kind of overlapping with little ovals inside. And what I wanted to do now is I'm going to go back to this head layer, and I'm on frame one of that. So let me uh, use my selection tool, deselect, and I'm going to use my pencil tool here. I'm going to go ahead and kind of, uh, let's see, I'll draw a nose, use my selection tool, and delete that portion right there. And I think I'll also delete that line too. I really like that. Okay, so I've got this part, and I'm going to go ahead and lock down that layer, jump over to the body, frame one, and I'm going to use my pencil tool again and start to see where we get some issues and I'll just draw a pretty simple body right there I'll go ahead and bring that over at the bottom there a little extra and um, that's pretty good right there yeah we'll just stick it at that because that's actually going to be enough for me to demonstrate uh, an issue that I'm going to have so let's say I'm ready to color some stuff in actually one more thing I'll just do a little line right there a little curve to that okay so I've got this character let's say I'm ready to fill in I might go to my fill bucket and say alright I want to do a little bit of um, light blue here I want to fill in this bottom part and it's not working for me see how I can't just I can't fill it in well watch this if I go to my uh, gap size and I change this over to close medium gaps now I can fill it in. It's kind of weird to think of it this way, but it happens a lot whenever you're working with pencil tools. Let me go ahead and control Z to undo that real quick. And a gap size is just what it sounds like. It's where the lines don't exactly meet. And it, at a glance, it seems like they do. But let me show you this. I'm going to zoom in a lot, 400%, and really look at this line, especially down here in this corner. And you're going to you're gonna say, but Ralph, certainly those meet up. Let me go to 800%. And they seem like they're touching, right? Well, let me do my selection tool. I'm going to select this line and this line. I did a click, shift, click. I'm going to drop those down to a stroke, a really super small stroke. And uh, I must have had an extra line in there. Let me do a control Z real quick. Let's make sure I get all of these because apparently I had more content than I thought. Make sure that's selected. Now I'm going to drop them all down. And actually, those are looking pretty good there. Ah, uh, here's where they weren't touching, though. Let me drop this one down. So now that I've made these super thin, you can really start to see that, wow, those lines looked like they were touching, but apparently they weren't touching at all. And that's why I wasn't able to fill this section in of the body until I altered the gap size so they weren't really touching there was a space there so when I fill I want to use that adjust the gap size or you could be very careful and make sure you close all that in but I wanted to point out that's a really common issue let me change my fill color to something else and I'm gonna have a similar issue up here but this one's gonna be even more pronounced this little section in between the blue dress let's say in the top of the head this neck part here this is a huge gap size. Even if I change this over to close large gaps, it's still not working for me. Because if I were to turn off the head or change the display, you can see that that's really not even a contained shape. It's just two lines. So there's really nothing for me to fill in on that particular item. So I would have to do some other fixes to that. And of course, one thing you could do is I could take a, uh, my pencil tool, there's my pencil again, and I could just kind of draw a line there and once I've done that back to my fill bucket then I can fill that in and once I display the head again it's right there and of course I still have a little bit more space to work with but we could also adjust some of these other spaces I could go to my selection tool and just kind of morph this up it's okay if it goes really big too by the way because as soon as I put that head back on the head is gonna start to cover it up and then when I fill in the head those little sections will start to disappear because the head is on top. For instance, if I took my head and I filled in with, I'll do a really light yellow. Oh, once again, I'm having gap size issues. 
and I'm also locked down by the way. Let me unlock the head, close down the body. There we go. So I filled in a part, but I can't fill in the nose once again because of gap size issues. I've already got a large gap, so I would have to work on getting those lines better drawn. So it could be an issue up in here or down in this area. One of the best ways to find out, of course, is to zoom in a little bit more. Selection tool, I'm going to select the line that makes up that nose. In fact, I'll go ahead and select some of these other lines too. Oops, had a little bit of extra over there. Drop that stroke down. Actually, I think I'll just delete some of those. Just kind of delete some of these fine lines. Do a selection on here, and this is where I'm probably starting to have the issues. These are actually looking pretty good, but let me try that fill bucket again. There we go, so now it's all filled in. I think it was just those extra little spots up here that were causing me some grief. Now that I've got those lines in, I could always go back with my selection tool, select those lines again, and I could jump them back up to what I wanted. And then when I zoom out, yeah, I'll show, show all. There we go. So my lines are a little bit thicker, and I can jump back and select the lines down here. Change those over to three, and we're kind of back in business. So I know it's a little picky, but that's a that's a really common problem you're going to face when you start trying to fill in um, shapes that you've drawn, especially that you've free drawn. So take that in take that into consideration, and keep an eye on your lines and how they connect. And even if they look like they they connect, doesn't mean they really do. So have fun with that.